this episode of Pedalbox, we're going to start on the rusty parts of the Thunderbird, starting with the bonnet. It's no real secret that the Thunderbird has a couple of spots of rust. I think that's probably fair to say, but the worst for needing treatment soonest is definitely the bonnet, because that's where a lot of water lies and it manages to get underneath the car cover that we've got. Now unfortunately the cover is a little bit porous, so it does get a bit moist, so before this gets any worse and we get towards winter, we need to get this primed and all of the rust taken back. People are going to say, oh you should leave it with the patina that it is, and that would be great, but I really like the blue that's painted down this side of the car and I want it everywhere, and that unfortunately means all of the patina needs to go. Before we get started, we're going to have to take this piece of trim off, which is just held in the fibre clips on the underside. We don't want to sand this back, I want to try and keep this as best as we can so this can be refinished and we can fit this again later. You can see here three of the clips that hold it on. There's two more in here, although these haven't actually got clips on, but you can see how much this is disintegrating when I touch it, the dust that's coming off it. So we just need to pull these three off, lift the clip out of the way, and we can start work on the top of the bonnet. Sanding the radius at the front of the bonnet isn't going to be that easy though, because there's a few big dents and even a couple of holes that we're going to have to deal with. I'm using a Festool Random Orbit Sander with an 80 grid mesh pad. I went through quite a few of these doing the bonnet. I borrowed it from my dad who does a lot of woodwork because I totally forgot I had a Roots Orbital DA in the garage all along. Yeah, seriously. Well that's one pass over the front done and you can see some of the metal starting to come through here. You can, there's a little bit of red under here so I don't know whether this has been repainted again at some point but we're starting to get down through some of the paint. I don't expect this is going to be a particularly fast process so uh, we'll come back once I've got a bit more done. So we've been on this for about two hours now and we've cleaned almost three quarters, maybe a little bit more of the whole bonnet. What cleaning has shown us is where all the dents are. So there's a dent here, a little bit of rust right in the center, but you can't quite get all the paint out with this because it just doesn't go down into the dent. There's another one that looks like it's been filled with Bondo at some point because you can't get all of the uh, filler out of it and all of the paint is remaining, but it's actually feeling very smooth. So that's probably got a bit of a, a dent in it there. And then there's this massive one down the front here which I'm going to have to do something about. Other than that, it's pretty good. There's no real major, major bad bits to it. There's the couple of spots down the front, which will get fixed at some point. Um, but for now, I'm just going to crack on, get the rest of this done today and uh, get ready for painting. So we finally got the bonnet clean, but unfortunately, since we did that, it has rained and now we've got a little bit more surface rust that's come across the top. However, there is a solution literally to try and deal with this. But in order to do that, we need to take the bonnet off first. The old car cover finally gave way and tore from one end to the other. I've got a much better four layer one now, which is barely more than the other single layer one cost and has been much better in the rain. Now, the solution to getting rust off this is quite literally phosphoric acid diluted with water. This is about a eight or nine percent concentration and you spray it on the surface and then wipe it off. And it's amazing how the rust just kind of disappears. It won't get rid of really, really heavy stuff, but where there's pits that we can't get the sander into without compromising the metal and where there's scratches across the top that have got some in, it'll be absolutely perfect for. So we'll get on with this and we'll hopefully see this nice clean hood shortly. Being a bit skeptical this was gonna work as easily, we tried with some dilute hydrochloric acid we happened to have lying around a couple of days beforehand. And in the time it took us to get the phosphoric acid delivered, it flash rusted the surface. The upside, it does show really well how easily it actually works. We're misting and wiping a little bit of the phosphoric acid across the surface and using some polishing cloth to clean it off. And it's coming off really quickly and returning to the bright bare metal that was there after I'd sanded. On this side of the bonnet, where the rust was a bit thicker, it took a little bit more work. So here's one running at normal speed in real time with just a light mist of the solution and an already damp rag.
So we've got all of this wiped down now and we've gone over it once it dried off with a bit of white spirit just to get rid of any residue and anything else so that we can start putting paint down. So we're going to put a piece of tarp underneath this because I don't really want to paint all of my gravel and then we'll get one coat on this tonight at least and hopefully it won't look too bad. It's not quite as perfect as it could be, there's still some marks on it but this isn't really going for a concourse finish at the moment, this is just preventative maintenance and stopping this rusting into the ground and falling into the carb. We've got the first coat of paint on. It's not perfect, but we didn't really expect it to be. Um, we'll be going over this another day, sanding it down and putting a high build coat on to get rid of all of the pits, because we haven't really dealt with that yet. But for the time being, we're just going to pop this back on the car and let it cure properly overnight. And that was over two and a half months ago. Now we have done some more work to this, as you can see. Most of that grey primer we put on to protect it while it was on the car, we've taken off again. And we did that when we were sanding it down, getting it smooth, and actually fixing most of the dents in the bodywork. We tapped them out as much as we can. There is a little bit of body filler on it, and I'm not thrilled, but it is what it is. You just can't get replacement panels for these without having a 300 ton press, I guess. So we took this down to a place local to us called Car Savers near Farnborough and they were really, really good. They're a welding specialist and they actually filled in a panel on the underside of here that was completely rotten. We thought about a couple of different ways to do it, including just getting another bonnet, but shipping it over was going to be far too expensive and actually getting it fixed was way, way cheaper. We've also got these panels which we're going to fit at some point. Now we've talked about these a couple of times, but we've never actually put them up against the car to see where they go. So this rear one you can see comes across about this line here, which is all good solid metal above it. Similarly, this one comes across to about here on the car. In fact, I think it even comes up a little bit higher if necessary, but this is all good metal above the fold line and it's this that is all horrible, rattly and full of Bondo. So we're going to get these two pieces cut out and then stitched back into the main body of the car and then all of this horrible rust and Bondo here, which is even worse on the other side because you can just put your hand through the rear part, will be gone. Unfortunately that will mean that this lovely blue is then replaced with two massive chunks of dodgy red oxide coloured primer. So we're going to have to get painting fairly soon after that, otherwise it's going to look a little bit ridiculous. Thanks very much for watching, if you like what we've been doing please subscribe to the channel, it would help us out a lot and have a look at our new shop that we've just opened on our website where you can get pedal box t-shirts, hats and soon we'll have some beanies because it's starting to get chilly. Thanks very much for watching.